Hi, I'm Dr. Preeti. Uh, this is my first project from Madras Bazaar. Um, so these are the molds I showed you before, and this was the mermaid blue color that I got before. Uh, so I'm just going to use this mermaid blue, the mold, and the Madras Bazaar resin. So it's going to be a very simple yet a very classy project. So before I start, I am just covering my surface with um, a butter paper like sheet and I am protecting my hands with these gloves, preferably use these nitrile gloves and not latex. So first is I am going to just open this, it's a mermaid blue, so let's see how it's going to bring out the effect. So I am going to take a little bit of this powder and brush it along. the mold. Just make sure all the surfaces are covered. So, so I've just covered uh, I think uh, most of the surface here. Okay, so this is done. Always keep a tissue or a waste cloth handy. Okay, so next is I am going to measure, this is a 10 to 4 resin. So I take 10 parts of the resin and 4 parts of the hardener. So I have taken a little bit more than uh, 10 ml. So here, if you can see, I've already poured the black pigment. So I'm just going to pour. The hardener is more uh, runny compared to the other the resin. And slowly mix it till all the color is incorporated. So this is done. Now I'm going to pour this directly into the mold. Slowly, mm -hmm. gently. This is a pretty big mold so you don't have to worry about it spilling outside. I think we have taken it quite perfectly the amount because as the resin sets or dries the one on the surface I mean the the size is slightly going to shrink so you need not worry about over pouring on the surface okay. so let's wait for 24 hours and let's see how this has is this turning out Okay, so we're going to demold this. It's been 24 hours and see how it's come out. So let's put some drum roll and see how it's come out. So see it's a little uh, shiny. Okay, so now I'm going to cut out the excess of whatever is there. Whatever resin has spilled out, not much has spilled out. And I'm going to just smoothen it a bit with this buffer. So So there is nothing much um, that you can use for trimming because uh, it's almost like really smooth. Okay, so it's really smooth. You can just trim the corners, how much ever you have, and then I'm going to insert this cord. Okay, 
so i'm going to insert this card and take it out and now this is a pendant that is good to go okay can you see that i'm going to show a better picture in uh, the sunlight can you see how it's shimmering since i had uh, coated the corners also you can see it's nicely shimmering 